Yeah. Well, we actually did that okay. on the board. So, uh, ladies, as I said, uh, sometimes you can't easily see what the factors are, especially if the number is large and there are lots of combinations of factors. So, I have developed this technique which gives you a pattern whereby you can find the factors you want to give you the factorization that you want. So everybody turn to page uh, 34. All right, so here. Okay, so ladies, here is a quadratic trinomial. All right. So let's take a look at the first term. Uh, so, so we have two variables in here. We have uh, an A variable uh, and a B variable, you know, an A squared term and a B squared term. Uh, now, written this way, what is the coefficient of my first term? 112. 112. But what do we need as the coefficient of our first term? One. 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 Okay. Use the B squared. Skip. What did you say, Allison? Use Which? the B squared. Use the B squared. We can reverse the order, can't we? That is yeah. 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 Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. Your ladies are awesome. All right. So now we're going to reverse. Ladies, so what do we do? We, we, we know that this is a quadratic trinomial, okay? We know we want to factor it, so what do we do first? We boldly put parentheses. Boldly! <laughs> Ladies, yes, exactly. All right, now, what do I... So here, this is a B squared. I have to put in what? A B. A B and a B. All right. Now... For this last term, we still don't know what we're going to do with the 112, but we know we've got an a squared here. So what has to go at the end here? A. a and A. So that when we do our multiplies, whatever the numbers are in front, we're definitely going to have an a squared as our, in our last term, right? Yeah. Which we have to have. All right. But guys, so now the words say we are seeking multiplying factors of plus 112 that add up to plus 22. All right. Now, I don't know this off the top of my head, uh, so I have developed this table method which enables us to seek out the proper factors. All right. <laughs> so, we make a Wait, table. Work if it's 22 AB? Yeah. Eight and well, yeah. but guys, aren't we going to have a cross product in the middle? Isn't it going to, isn't it going to involve a B and an A time, times each other? Yes. A B and an A yes. times each other? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here. All right. So guys. So here, guys, in this column, we are looking for multiplying factors. And this is where we add them up to get the sum. All right? And so, the way this table works, it's a pattern also. You always, for the factors, put the smaller factor on the left and the larger factor on the right. And even if there are minus signs involved, it's still the, the smallest magnitude number on the left, smallest magnitude number on, largest magnitude number on the right. Okay. Now, what is the smallest factor that goes into 112? One. 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 So I put down 1, and one. comma, 112. So those are my two multiplying factors, which multiply to give me the 112. All right, and what is the sum? 113. 113. Okay, so this is our method that we do if they're really That's great. great. I love I this method. I was trying method. to show you in the textbook, Alex. Okay, now, ladies, all right? What's my next smaller factor? Two. 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 Fifty-six. And fifty-six. Whoa, that's a minus. And what does that add up to? Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. 
Okay. Now, ladies, what's my next smaller factor? Four. 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 And what? 28. 28. 30, Wait, 30. does that equal 32? Yeah. How do we know, like, off the top of our heads, if 3 goes into it or not? Well, you, you, know, you, add them you, up add them you know divisibility by three, don't you? If the, if, if the digits add up to a multiple of three. Okay, so we just use our divisibility yeah. rules. Uh, and guys, guys, eyes up here. Here's another rapid mental math technique. All right? So when I go double from two to four, then the other factor has to go by half. 56 right. divided by two is 28. So you can do that in your head. You don't have to... Hunt on your calculator. All right, so guys, what's the sum here? 32. 32. 32. Guys, do you notice? We're I going down it. continuously. Divide. All right, and now what's the next one, guys? Seven, Seven actually goes in, right? And 16. And what is that? 23. All right, we're getting close, right? What, next? Oh, no, there's one. Next, guys? Eight. Eight. And 14. That's 22. 22. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my God, we got it. All right. So now, ladies. Dr. Weinstein. Yes. I have a favor to ask. Will you quickly show us the sevens trick? Yes, please. Oh, guys, guys, we don't have time. No. no. I can't remember it. Okay, ladies. All right. So, guys, once we found the two factors that multiply to give us 112 and add up to give us 22, they go directly into the two binomials with their signs. So here, that goes in as a plus eight, and that goes in as a plus 14, all right? So, ladies, so here the plus eight goes right into there, and the plus 14 goes right into there. <laughs> okay, now ladies, ladies, let's think about this for a second. How far does this table have to go? Till they reverse size. Oh. And you get it? Wait, why? Okay, and you get Okay, so guys, what would be the next one after 814? It would be 14, 8. And the next one would be 16, 7. You Yes, you now have the bigger number first. You always want to have the smaller number first, all right? And guys, so that means that the table only goes as far as the first factor is less than or equal to the second factor, okay? You could possibly have an equal and they do come up, okay? So this is it. All right, now guys. Wait, why do we have Wait a second, wait a second, one more second. Guys, what would happen, okay, if, so you notice, guys, that these, de because of the pattern that I've set up for you, these things decrease continuously until you get to your number. But what if, perchance, this, at this row, it happened to come out to 20? So, guys, I come down here, down here, I get to 23, oh, no. and then I jump to 20. But there's no set of factors that gave me 22. So therefore, I can't factor it. It's prime. It's prime. You say prime if it's unfactored. Prime. Okay? And you leave it alone. And you leave it alone. Okay, ladies? Is this gorgeous or what? Okay? Really helpful? Now, now, ladies, another thing. You don't have to start this table right at one. You can come down to two or four. Okay? And you don't have to keep going once you find the number. Once you find your number, you stop. Yeah, so this was actually the... Uh, 15, 15, October. The, the 22. 15. No. Ladies, you're awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, my gosh, we still have to take this few questions.